Hey everyone, John Henry here, and today in the Market Psychology video, we're going to be taking a look at a pullback morning on crude oil futures. Beautiful move uh, on this gap higher. The European session seems to have been having all of the fun over the past couple of months. The, the European session has just been exploding uh, and causing some of these gaps that we're seeing. Now, in terms of the movement yesterday, we had a relatively weak, but still bearish trend working its way lower, and we ended the day in somewhat of a range. Now, that really doesn't tell us that there is anybody trapped on one side or wanting to get out on the other side side so it, it doesn't really give us any clues in terms of what we should be looking for except when we gap up like this right we gapped above all of yesterday's movement so that tells us that well obviously the the European session had a lot of fun but second of all the buyers are very in tuned and wanting to buy this so a couple things that we need to see first, the buyers need to show up to the party to sustain this large of a gap and they need to show up right out of the gate. You need to see a big bull candle to start the day and then another and then another and then another and keep them going to the upside and well, they couldn't get it, right? We got a really weak bull candle to start the day off into initial movement down. Now you don't want to be the first one to the party and this one shows a lot of wick on the bottom and then we go into this little bitty inside bar, not really anything to play around with and that tells us, well, well, you know, the buyers, they aren't able to sustain this big gap higher, so they probably want to pull back. A lot of pullbacks occur at the moving average, so you're expecting them to pull down to around the EMA in that area. Now, we did have a couple other levels of support inside there, so that may be all they're looking to pull back to, but until we get that pullback, it's going to be very difficult for the buyers to get this market jumping to the upside unless they show up with a huge amount of strength. They try coming in right here, bad follow through, even worse follow through, and this is where we started seeing the big clues that there's probably going to be a deeper pullback. They couldn't close above the highs, they couldn't even close above the prior candle's high. They couldn't get anything going at the top, and they turn around into a bear candle. Now, this this trade up here was actually a the trade of the day video, so make sure to watch that. But this drop down was a beautiful example of just complete failure to the downside. Now, this move to the downside uh, had a very strong continued drop lower. When the buyers tried showing back up again, look at these piddly little candles. They couldn't get anything going, and that's a further clue that the sellers are dominating the market right now, trying to get that pullback before the buyers start stepping up to the plate. So that's an opportunity to sell once again, knowing that we're likely either going to these this cluster of support down here, which based on the bouncing, you can tell is what happened, uh, or back to the moving average. And that eventually is what occurred. We push down to the moving average and we see a gargantuan bull candle engulfing the prior uh, couple candles actually and closing right at its high. That tells us, hey, you know what? The buyers obviously liked this pullback and they bought the absolute heck out of that moving average to the upside. But the problem is, after this strong of a move down, you don't want to be the first one to the party. It's the same reason why we didn't want to buy this one, the same reason why we didn't want to buy that one. Being the first one to the party usually is a little bit tough. You want to wait for some proof. So even though this is a beautiful candle, I have it marked because if you are aggressive, you could buy it. But it's not the best place to be looking to get in. We followed up with another strong bull candle, closing one tick off of its highs. Now the buyers are getting the confirmation. Start buying into that thing, expecting it to go back up towards the top side, maybe to the high of day, maybe just back into this initial Little range they formed. Either way, the upside has a lot of potential. They push into an area of resistance back in that kind of cluster that we saw before, and it did halt price before, and it did the same thing here. But notice what didn't happen this time around. The bears, very much like the bulls back here, couldn't get anything going, and that is a very big clue in terms of what to expect next, especially when it follows up with a strong bull candle in the opposite direction. That tells you, hey, you know what? We're probably going a little bit higher. The bears are doing exactly what the bulls did back here. I'm looking to buy, and you drive that market right back up, and now they're back towards the high of day. Beautiful market example here of buyers not wanting to buy high, waiting for the pullback, buying the pullback, and rocket shipping that thing right back up to the highs with a combination of technical analysis as well as market psychology. So hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you found it interesting, and we'll see you next time.